Hello and welcome to our roundup of the first ever NWG Innovation Festival. It's been a fantastic week at Gosforth Park, Newcastle's race course. Brilliant ideas and people from across the globe coming together and throwing themselves into the festival spirit. They've been tackling some of the most important challenges facing us all, from flood prevention and greener cities to what a teenage bedroom will look like in the future. It's all been happening here and these are some of the highlights. We've been doing innovation for about 18 months now. So every month we take one of our most challenging issues. We typically go off site, take some of our own people, mix them in with some people from academia and other businesses. Customers sometimes come and join us. And uh, we try and crack that problem and we've had good success with that. This region is a hotbed of innovation, an absolute hotbed. And what we're doing this week is we're dealing with six incredible social challenges where we're bringing together such a variety of different groups to solve problems. The really interesting thing is that there's new technology which can be applied to old problems. Our sprint leaders have a real task on their hands this week. Today we're talking to Alistair Torn from NWG. Alistair, how has this morning, this afternoon gone? It's been fantastic so far. We've really got into actually unpacking the problem and actually understanding what the, the different dynamics of the future infrastructure should look like. And actually currently what the tent is focusing on right now is looking at basically what the current problems are. Because until we not know what those are, we can't hope to solve what, what the future will actually look like in reality. You are a sprint leader, but you're also part of NWG. You've been responsible for kind of pulling this festival together. How does it feel to see it actually happening? We're on day one. When you walk around, you just see the vibe. There's so much going on. There's so many different layers to the festival, and we really encourage everyone to get involved in that. This is Alan, and Alan, you're not with any company. You're here as a Northumbrian water customer. That's correct in on the flooding sprint. Yeah. So what have you been talking about? What have you enjoyed? Well, basically I've enjoyed meeting people, uh, meeting the manager of Northumbrian Water, and uh, just really overall, the event itself has been absolutely brilliant. The reason I'm here is because I want to hear some of the exciting stuff that's going on. You know, there's lots of, of issues. We're trying to reduce our leakage of water, lots, lots of things. And we've got here people both from within the company and from outside who are thinking, out of the box a bit and how can we do something really special make it much better you know everybody's really getting into the festival spirit here i've seen loads of wellies and look at this face painting jen how many have you done today we're looking at uh, 10 15 going up and everybody keeps asking for more because everyone's loving it <laughs> i bet they are even the chief executive heidi mottram here she is heidi what were you thinking about in the very first place when you dreamt up the festival I guess where the idea started from is we've always been really innovative as a company. We've got people in our organisation that like build stuff in their garages and bring them to work to fix problems. And there's some wonderful stuff like that. And then, you know, at the other end of the spectrum, our journey on advanced anaerobic digestion, the 100% power from poo story. So we do some really, really big things. But I guess we wanted to just take it up a level and really, really take ideas from around, bring in, you know, new experiences. We got this great new sort of um, uh, tool from Google of sprinting that we that we started to do things and so it was all really an amalgamation of that and just to say innovative company leading company but what could we do to just really make some more noise we've been properly out and about today some of the team had a race on down to Northumberland Street here's what happened this morning we've been out on Northumberland Street asking our customers about what matters most to them about their water and wastewater services. We've been out here with the customers letting them know what's been happening in the festival and seeing if the customers have any ideas we can feed back to each of the sprints. That way the sprints actually have a good idea of what solutions they can make for the people who it actually matters to. We'll be catching up with the sprints taking place in the various tents and generally soaking up the festivities. Now last night there was some entertainment and I do believe it was quite funny. Melting down to the ground of 
Up came an awful sound. Rio was screaming. What you doing? He was melting. He was stewing. <laughs> the winner! <laughs> I found Carl from Off What. Carl, how impressed are you with what you've seen here? So far, really impressed. It's great to see so many organisations from across the sector and beyond coming together to solve all these chronic problems. It looks like people have been working really hard all week and I'm really looking forward to hearing what the sprints are going to result in. Michael Roberts is Chief Executive of Water UK. Michael, what do you think of what you've seen at this festival? Well, I think it's great that you've got this combination of people really working hard on some big issues, and then there's a sense of fun and informality, kind of get the creative juices going, and it's just, it's just fantastic to see that combination at work. It's almost an exercise in, in innovating about innovation, about thinking how you can sort of generate ideas in a different way, uh, and, that, and that combination of informality with hard work just seems to be you know, really effective. When we started, I think we had a pretty clear idea about what might happen on day one but we had no idea what was going to happen on day two three four and five and it's just been incredible I mean I've been here all week I've been talking to people I think the collaboration the networking between people people are saying that's never happened anywhere in any of their experiences I think we're just going to see some incredible results so what have you been impressed by this week then um, I think the hackathon's been a great idea, so people working together with, alongside Microsoft and other organisations to create new products that could you know, have some great benefits for the water sector, such as predictive analytics. I think that's uh, you know, fantastic. I've just also been impressed by the, just the sheer collaboration, everyone sort of joining in together and working together to have, have, deliver the same outcome, to deliver better benefits for the water sector. So this is the hackathon and the person leading it is Michael Hull from NWG. Michael, tell us about the idea of the hackathon, what they've been working on. So the idea is that we've got in the room around 60 data scientists from various backgrounds, um, not many of them from the water industry. And what we're giving them is four and a half gigabytes of data about our water networks and we're trying to solve the problem of leakage. The problem with data is sometimes you, you hit walls and you hit blockers, so you might go down one route and then you'll go, oh, this, is, this isn't really going where we expected it. So fingers crossed, we'll have good luck and we'll get something out of it. This is Northumbrian Water Group talking to its customers. Steve Greby is from the Consumer Council for Water. What's your reaction to what's happening here this afternoon? Well, we at the Consumer Council for Water have been asking water companies to put customers at the heart of the water industry for many years now. So I'm delighted to be here. I'm delighted to see the efforts of Northumbrian Water are going to to actually capture the views of customers and, and put them at the heart of their business plan. Uh, I'm very interested because uh, Northumbrian Water did an awful lot on Brunton Park with the flooding there and made a fantastic job and then kept us informed all, all the way through. So we, we really sort of took our hats off to them and I wanted to just sort of follow this up today and see, see how we go. It's a whole week of actually talking about the issues that customers face. It's a whole week of the water company staff becoming involved. So they're directly interacting with their customers and hopefully that will make Northumbrian Water's business plan all the better for it. Alison's from Northumbrian Water and she's coordinated the STEM part of the festival. Now, how does this fit in with the grown-ups in the Innovation Festival? So for us at Northumbrian Water, um, creativity comes from diversity of thought and, and different perspectives. And young people are fantastic at bringing that, that extra diversity of thought. So, Summer, what have you been learning about this morning? We've been learning about air. And what do you think about science as a subject? I think it's really good and it's really interesting. So you just didn't know that science could be so fun? Yeah. Have you all enjoyed it? Yeah! These are some of the other fantastic supporters who've helped make the NWG Innovation Festival possible. They've been educating, entertaining and informing the crowds all week. We're going to go find some festival goers and get their final thoughts on how their week's been. This event is in aid of generating innovative thought process and it's really a, an, an exhibition of the innovation that exists here in this part of the UK and here in our company. 
bringing all the partners together, the different skills, uh, common problems, um, getting different ideas. It's the way you, t you come up with some great solutions for some really difficult problems. I just thought it was brilliant, a brilliant event, and uh, I was invited as a customer for Monday and Tuesday and I've ended up coming back for the entire week. It was so good. I think one of the strong things that comes across is how um, no matter what sort of organisation you work in, we all have common issues. By coming together and exploring new ways of doing things, we can come up with solutions that we can then go back into our organisations and see how we can solve these problems um, by working together. The way in which Nigel sort of constructed it around getting customer engagement, getting the business involved and then all of the different uh, data and technology providers it's just been a it's just been a dynamite show somebody had said earlier that you know they they are unique in the fact that they can connect they can connect with every single person in the area and I thought that's right and they are the kind of people who need to be bringing all of us together to to discuss these big problems I think this is a great idea I mean it's brilliant to have so many different people from so many walks of life um, come together for a week so there's a good investment of time here to really start thinking about how we can work together to tackle the problems because I think one of the the issues is that nobody can tackle some of these big topics and isolation it's got to be a collaborative effort and that's what this week is all about you have the germ of an idea and you think about how you might bring together experts from around the world and we might focus on some of the problems and just I guess use all of that talent and then you come here and it's all happening and you see the presentations and what it's done for me is just realized how absolutely right this guy was to have the dream. I think uh, the data analytics and the leakage, well, there's an awful lot for us to go out there. I think there's a, a, it's a big problem for us uh, and I, I think we've got some great insight from the data. This sort of kicked off a handful of people working on it and then gradually spread almost virally across the organisation and people really dove into this sort of voluntarily, doing it above and beyond their day jobs. So I think, uh, you know, I'm just incredibly proud that people felt that same commitment and passion for it. Mm -hmm.